With the holiday season just around the corner, I wanted to learn a little bit more about one of the hottest gifts of the year, smart speakers. So I sat down with Florian Schaub from the School of Information to learn some more about the privacy and security concerns with these hot items. Alexa, should I get my friends a smart speaker for Christmas? Hmm, I don't know that one. So I think a smart speaker is actually a terrible holiday gift because they come with a lot of privacy implications and I think people should be thinking through those implications themselves rather than being stuck with a smart speaker. Alexa, are you recording everything I say? The way that smart speakers typically work is that um, the microphone is always on. It's always listening and then when it hears the keyword, hey Google, Alexa, then it starts actually recording and transferring that information to Google or Amazon, then process the information and send you the responses to your requests back. Alexa, what can you tell about me from my voice? Hmm, I don't know that one. Your voice can reveal a lot of things about, you. of course, what you're asking for. Um, Alexa, where, what's the best place to bury your body? Um, but also your voice reveals whether you might be depressed uh, or whether you're having a very good time. There's a lot of subliminal information in your voice that people are not aware that, that could be exploited by companies like Amazon or Google. Alexa, what are your privacy features? The smart speaker often comes with a mobile companion app or a website where you can actually look up the recordings. What we found in our study is that some people actually use this feature to um, invade other people's privacy. People use these audio logs to kind of spy on their house sitters or their babysitters. Alexa, what should you do if you want to use a smart speaker and preserve your privacy at the same time? Smart speakers have a button you can press to mute the microphone. Um, Multiple people in our study thought the, the mute button uh, would only mute the speaker, um, but not actually the microphone. Even people who understood the functionality of the button reported they've never used it because it's just not part of how you interact with a smart speaker. You speak with a smart speaker, uh, you don't go to it and press buttons on it. Talk with other people in your household and make sure you are comfortable with a device that always listens to be in your home. Press the mute button if you're not using Alexa right now. Um, check your audio logs once in a while and delete them.